Scattered activity across Sinla this afternoon. You notice some activity moving to the north into Grant Parish there. You notice that outflow boundary going toward uh, State Highway 71 right there. Could see more development off of that. You can see more development on the north side of Colfax from that outflow boundary as well. And this right here is State Highway 167. Once again, this is uh, on the heavier side, but it's not severe, which is good news today. We just have a little bit of garden variety showers and storms out there. In fact, the airport received over an inch of rainfall from this cell that uh, went on the west side of town here to local station only seven hundredths or less than a tenth of an inch of rainfall here in the central areas of the metro so you notice a little bit more activity just north of Winfield and Natchitoches northern Natchitoches and Wind Parish you also notice a little bit of sprinkle activity near Kailahula and Concordia parishes as well you also notice some activity moving in from the south toward Opelousas and Eunice area um, also the Quincy area as well you also notice a little bit of activity near Leesville and Fort Johnson as well. South Toledo Bend getting in a little bit of activity. So just scattered across the area. Where you're seeing the rainfall, heavy rainfall, you're in the mid to upper 70s. Where you're seeing more sunshine, you're in the low to mid 90s. And then also where you're seeing some cloud covers, but not too much sun or too much rain. Generally in the 80s on the average. We're in the 80s throughout Sinla. And yeah, it's bouncing around quite a bit just depending on what's happening in your local area. So take a look at uh, the radar and satellite. You notice just scattered activity ongoing throughout the deep south and parts of the upper south as well. You'll also notice these waves going around the upper level high pressure here coming from a trough of low pressure that's in the northern plains in southern Canada. And this right here is going to continue to be the pattern for the next several days, but eventually we can shut down rain chances a little bit as we head into parts of the weekend. So anything that would like to give us some rainfall is going to go up and over this high pressure and kind of come at us from the north and west and continue to pull up some Gulf moisture in our area as well. So just just the daytime heating itself is going to be enough to spark up at least something for each afternoon and, and that's on top of uh, those short waves coming in from the northwest as well. As we head on to the weekend, those upper level high pressure expands a little bit further to the east. That will tone down the rain chances a little bit, but you notice the trough of low pressure continues for the eastern uh, U.S. and the Midwest as well. So because of that, we're still going to keep at least some rain chance in the forecast for early next week. tonight. After sunset, you saw that the precipitation starts to dwindle quite rapidly after sunset tonight and then bubbles up once again tomorrow afternoon and then we repeat the same cyclical process as we head into your Friday. I don't think it's going to be as widespread Friday, but it is going to be more scattered in nature. Tomorrow, widespread activity. We're not talking severe storms or anything like that, but you notice an 80% chance from the metro to the north. Still likely a 70% chance in the southern areas. Most of us less than a quarter inch of precipitation. Someone could see maybe up to four inches of before all is said and done on your Thursday. And then here's a look at your seven day forecast. You notice as we head into Friday, still a decent rain chance or a fair rain chance, a 40% chance of scattered activity. The driest day of the next seven day forecast is going to be actually Saturday, only at a 10%, mostly sunny skies. So if there's going to be any day to enjoy, it's that day right there. And most of us, it's a weekend for most of us. So definitely go out to the pool because after that, those rain chances become more decent again as we head into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next. Next week. Yeah, at least it's uh, cleared up for one day this weekend. Yeah, one day. You know, cloudy and stormy out there now and again tomorrow. Friday may not be bad, but it's going to be trending better as we head into Saturday. All right, thanks, All Barrett. Right.